It's all about... Let's see what we got going. Balls, balls, balls. Play your cards right. You win 4000 bucks. Oh, man, I need some help here. I can't remember the name of the sports team. Damn. Hey, if, if you can think of it, buzz in and type in the answer, capiche? All right, it's a basketball team. Uh, Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain was on it. You know, they've been all over the world. <clears throat> kind of like Wilt. Oh, yeah, Meadowlark Lemon is another player from the team. Now or never. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Player one, player three. Here you go. The Harlem Globetrotters are a basketball team. Wilt Chamberlain is an alum and so is Metal Arc Lemon. All I gotta say about the Harlem Globetrotters, and I'm I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they fixed a few of those games. Player three, time to make Now this is what I like to see, a player taking a chance, because you just picked an impossible question. Say hello to Panting for Dollars. And I believe we have a piddly 20 grand payoff for getting this one right. All right, get ready to fill in the blank for this one. You know how long distance races are usually measured in kilometers like a 5K or 10K race? Suppose that instead of a 401k plan, your boss will give you a million dollars if you run a 401k race. Since one kilometer equals 0.62 miles, exactly how many miles would that be? Player two. Let's see, 401 times 0.62 equals 248.62 miles. Pretty impressive. Uh, I'm not going to say anything important here, so you have some time to put away that calculator now. Player 2, give me some. Excellent choice, Player 2. Players 1 and 3, get away from the keyboard, because Player 2, it's time to play this or that. This dis or dat's category name is OUI, operating under the influence. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one you need to tell me, is it an Operation Game Piece or a liquor drink? If it's an Operation Game Piece, press one. If it's a liquor drink, hit two, and press four to skip. You get $1,000 for each right answer, and you lose 1,000 if you get it wrong or if you don't get to it at all. Okay, give me 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go in. Adam's Apple Operation. Irish Eyes. Funny Bone. Poop Deck. Old Man's Milk. Water on the Knee. Last one, Charlie Horse. That's all she wrote. Thing of beauty, let's see your new score. Feel good? I hope so, cuz we still got more jack. You're co- And I believe this one's called, Wanna See My Unit? 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Think fast. If John Boy Walton were to measure his mole in terms of moles, which aspect of his facial blemish would he be measuring? The number of atoms in the mole, the color of the mole, the surface area of the mole. Layer one, hit it. Gosh darn it, I was really rooting for you. Layer two, it's yours. A mole is a scientific measure that deals with the number of atoms and molecules in any given substance. Which is only ever exceeded by the number of Waltons on Walton Mountain. Night, John Boy. Night, Grandma. Night, Pa. Night, Homie. Night, Elvis. Hello, Kitty. Hmm, I wonder what Player Two's gonna pick. Number 17. This one likes to go by. I'll rent any piece of crap for two dollars. One right answer and six thousand dollars head your way. Flex those fingers, cause here it comes. 
Look, honey, it's that great video about the brave Scottish guy in the sport his ancestors invented. What video is this couple renting? Durf on golf, the curling, bobsled Roy, or brave jarts? Player three, do it. Player three, who would you... Player one, you've just been screwed. Let's see what you... Bobsled Roy, yeah, because the Scottish are world-renowned for their excellence in winter sports. Player two, player three, the time is... Up to you, player three. Balls in your court, player two. Take a shot, player two. Mm, nope. Gee, I wonder what the answer is. The Scots invented golf, and derf is a Scottish word for brave or daring. Which leads me to my next question. What is the word for, I'm gonna shoot my television if I have to watch Tim Conway do that door fit one more time? Let's... This little number's known as... Play ball! Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Ever hear that old joke about the last words of the Star Spangled Banner being play ball? Well, hands over your heart and up on your feet. What are the last words of the fourth verse of the Star Spangled Banner? Our future's to pay from cradle to grave, home of the brave or never enslaved. Layer two, grab it. Cradle to grave, womb to tomb, either way it's killing your score. Player one, player three, who wants it? Player three, make it happen. Each verse of the Star Spangled Banner ends with the home of the brave. You can sit down now. Player three, tell me. Step right up for question 19. Now serving... I love it, his game! 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Okay, let's say every player in the NBA was nicknamed after a type of pasta. If the following NBA athletes had as much twist to their playing styles as their pasta nicknames, whose game would have the most flair? Lasagna Ellis, Rigatoni Coop... Player 3, you got to answer it. Sorry, rigatoni is tube-shaped, but for what it's worth, I do enjoy Tony Kukoc stuffed with a chunky ragu sauce. Player, player two, it's yours. You silly are long strands of curly, twisted pasta. The problem with all these guys is they play really well until they sweat, and then they get all soggy and bloated.